My name is Staff Sergeant Eric Zlikin from the 44th Medical Command. I'm a 68 Whiskey, a combat medic. It's our job to preserve the fighting strength, and we do that by packaging, stabilizing, and evacuating injured soldiers to higher levels of care so that they can get the medical interventions they need to stay in the fight and continue to keep everyone safe. When you come across a patient and you see that they're screaming, it's very clear that they have a good airway. One less thing to have to worry about. Now, if you're taking fire, you don't want to stick around for too long. So we do just the basics to make sure we get out of there at the right time. Now, this is the most essential piece in any aid bag. What this does is save lives on the battlefield by stopping the bleed. We take our tourniquet. All you have to do is apply it above the appropriate spot, make it nice and tight, twist the rod until all the bleeding has stopped. At that time, you can call for a medevac and go from there. Other things you can do is if you see that the leg might be broken, you might want to go ahead and expose it as best as possible. We cut the clothing as far as possible to make sure that we expose the injured site. Once we do, we can take a better look at what's going on. At that point, we can apply the appropriate intervention. This is another amazing device. What the traction splint does is stabilize the leg, make sure that we can save the limb, therefore save the life. After the splint has been put on, you want to make sure that it's done right. Things you could do, check for the pulses. Did you know it's real easy to check for a pulse right down here at the top of the foot? This guy right here looks like he needs an IV. What we do is initiate it to get them the fluids and the medications they need so that they don't have very much pain and they can go ahead and get all the fluids they need to stay in the fight. Now let's go over the order. Tourniquet, expose the limb by cutting the clothes. Traction splint, assess the pulse, start the IV, get him out of there. Now, do you think you have what it takes to be a combat medic to save the lives of soldiers? I thought so. Let's see what you got.